are going into errors, doing what the law forbids. Do not join them, says the Lord, but correct them with wisdom. And if they will not listen, separate them then before any that may we the business of serving God is a very important business. The way we thought that is a very personal matter. Do not copy anyone to undo it in any wrong way. On that day of reckoning, each person will give account of himself before God. When no one will be able to be assisted by anyone else in, in any way. Be it at home or the church or on the way to our place. Those that do this cause wrongly, make sure you do not join them. Rather think of something good that you can do with your life and begin to do it immediately, seriously. The business of serving God is a very important business. No, we do it with all that is a very personal matter. Do not copy anyone to undo it in any wrong way. On that day of reckoning, each person will give account of himself before God. When no one will be able to be assisted by anyone else in any way. If your brethren stop to come, to fellowship faithfully, becoming irregular, or they now come very late. Do not copy them at all, so that you will not become one of the four that will become the last in the faith. The business of serving God is a very important business. But we do it with all that is a very personal matter. Do not copy anyone to undo it in any wrong way. On that day of reckoning, each person will give account of himself before God. When no one will be able to to be assisted by anyone else in any way. If your friend or child members are not becoming one day, witnessing the weak money, or hoping things are to stay, never, never copy them. So that you will not get them to be told by Jesus Christ and finding you. The business of serving God is a very important business. The widow will wait on that. Be assisted by anyone else in any way. Stand up to pray. You are the one day. And to be glorified, 
Our God is great. Can we give thanks to Him again? He is worthy. Oh, yeah. Very worthy of our time. Very worthy of praise. Very worthy of heart. Very worthy of admission. Let's magnify him. Let's honor him. Let's bless him. Let's worship him. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy of my praise. You are the only God I have. You are the shepherd of my life. I give you praise, O Lord. Oh Lord you are worthy of my praise. You are the only one. You are the shepherd of my life. I give you praise. We are going to pray for all our people. We are going to their workplaces today. That God will go with them. That goodness will go with them. That mercy will go with them. That faithful will go with them. We are to pray like that for them. We commit to all our brethren. In Lagos, in Nigeria, in Africa, all over the world, to your as they go to their workplaces today, cause your mercy to go, with them. cause your favor to go with them, cause your goodness to go with them, cause your kindness to go with them, cause your graces to go with them. Permit no evil on their way, Be no accident on their way, permit no trouble on their way. The cause mercy and goodness to lead the way for them, them to be faithful wherever they go. In Jesus' name, we pray. The money of the company of a brother enter the account of a business partner. The business partner is reluctant to release the money. It is not small money. We are going to pray. God will touch his heart today. When? When? And release the money immediately. We are like that. Father, touch his heart today. Permit him to have no rest of mind, no peace of mind, but to also to just be thinking, why should I hold the money? And he will release the money to before the close of today. 
so that the glory will come to you the honor will come to you and whatever the devil wants to achieve through it he will not be able to achieve help us now help us now help us now answer the prayer in Jesus name we pray the sickness of a relation the sickness of a relation I Santon share coming an instrument of draining the pulse of one of our brothers that all the money he has is just flowing away through that sickness. Meanwhile, it's a relation that is sick. We are going to pray that to block that way that sickness has to be taken care of. That God will heal that fellow. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Shall we begin to pray like that? Father, heal him. Heal Go to her and heal her. We command the sickness to get out. Sickness, get out. Get out of the body. And leave the child alone. Leave the child alone. Pray away from the child. In the name of Jesus. There is nothing, Lord, you cannot do. All power belongs to you. No sickness is too big for you to heal. No disease is too big for you to remove. No trouble is too big for you to set you. Let there be a miracle. Let there be a miracle. Oh Lord, let there be a miracle. Baba, let there be a miracle. Quickly, 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 quickly. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray for everyone looking for job. In this church. Some get up in the morning and go to work. But the work is not meaningful. They don't put provide meaningful <inaudible> jobs for them. Let God open doors for them. Pray like that. Father, open doors for them. Doors of good jobs. Open for them. Open for them. Open for them. Quickly open for them. Open for them. Doors of good jobs. Open for them. In the name of Jesus. You are the Lord that opened it and no man shut it. You are the one that shot us and no man opened There is nothing you cannot do. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, we are going to pray that nothing the devil plan for us will succeed today. Is it loss? Is it accident? Is it sorrow? Is it sickness? Is it trouble? What are the plans for any of us today? Pray like that. For that makes it to fail over our lives, over our families, over our businesses, over our loved ones today. Only your will be done in our lives. That of defeated. His plan, his purpose, his program will be defeated. Your will will be done. Your name will be glorified. Your purpose will be fulfilled. And it shall be well with us. Thank you, Lord. We know you will do it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you. Because we have you to call upon. In every condition, in every situation, we present the whole of our lives before your altar today. Let your, let your hands upon us and command your goodness upon us so that it shall be well with us physically, spiritually, inwardly, outwardly, in our spirit soul, as well as in our bodies. It shall be well with our families. It shall be well with our businesses. It shall be well with everyone and everything pertaining to us. want to hear your word now. Please to minister more of your graces to us. Grant us the spirit of understanding. The grace to know your mind and to be your way. So that forever and ever we shall be well with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Our God is great.
Have your seat. God bless you. Those of you partaking of the fellowship online. This is Bible Pattern Church headquarters. We've been singing, praying. We now want to hear the word of God. The title of the message is How to Properly Correct a Wrongdoer. How to Properly Correct a Wrongdoer. How to properly correct a wrongdoer. Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye who shall spiritually restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, let thou also be tempted. Ara, be at the moment, you know, you know, you ki o mu iru eniyan be bo sipo ni emi wa tutu ki iwo ti kara re ma ki esara ki a ma ba dan iwo na wo pelu every passage of the bible is full of meanings gbogbo ese bibeli lo ni itumo this one we have just read is also loaded with meanings ele ta sese ka tan yi o kun fun opolopo itumo first and foremost la koko is talking to who o nba awon wo soro ah to the wrong brethren I'm asking you the sermon of today. You'll be answering my question. That scripture is talking to who? Simple question. He's talking to who? When you are asked a question about a scripture, you go back to the scripture and read it. You don't answer from your head. If you answer from your head, that is your word, not the word of God. Go back to the scripture. Then, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, let thou also be tempted. That scripture is talking to who? He's talking to the brethren. Who is he talking to? Who are called brethren? Believers, children of God, two members of the Church of Jesus Christ. They are the brethren. Is that correct? Another name of the brethren, according to that scripture, give me. That's how to study by. What is another name of the people he is talking to, according to that scripture? Uh -uh. Who is that scripture talking to? Brethren. Another name. According to the scripture. Spirit, people that are spiritual. Now. If you want to follow this scripture in correcting a person, you want to ask yourself, am I one of the brethren? That's question number one. Number two, am I spiritual? You know what it means not to be spiritual? It's to be carnal. It's to be worldly. If a man be overtaken in a fault, that word overtaken is so significant. He suggests the fellow is running away from it. But the fault continue to pursue until the fault outrun him and overtaken. It's like Somebody is running from the police. And the police with a police motorcycle pursue until crossing. Overtaken. Why you are correcting a person? You want to ask yourself, am I correcting this fellow as a child of God? Can you do something to this? You are some of the speakers that are supposed not to walk are walking. Go and switch them off. I'm hearing. Limit yourself to what we have in the front. A 
Amen, everybody. Amen. Whenever you are trying to correct a wrong <inaudible> life, ask yourself, <inaudible> are they correcting this fellow as a child of God? <inaudible> I'm correcting him as a criminal myself. <inaudible> there are things you say when you are correcting people. <inaudible> that heaven recalls that this is a, a criminal. <inaudible> this is not a child of God. When you are correcting a person, there are things you say or do that will prove that you, you are carnal. You are worldly. You are not spiritual. You know what that means? You are not qualified to correct. Therefore, if any man is overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. What is the purpose of correction? I should have been asking and asking, but the way you answer the one I ask you, I better stop asking you so that I can do my preaching. The purpose of correcting is for restoration. You are not correcting co to condemn the fellow. You are not correcting to creating problems. If that is your purpose of correcting, you are not doing the business of God. You are correcting with the intention of restoration. And as you are doing it, you want to be sure you do it with meekness. I've told you meekness is the combination of simplicity, humbleness, gentleness, and so on. When you miss all of them together, you are meekness. That was the one word Jesus used to describe himself. He said, I am meek. And lowly so it is that spirit of Christ that meekness you must put on when you want to correct. It means if you want to correct somebody and your heart is boiling, you need to go yourself and leave that fellow alone. You know what I mean? You may even be having a greater problem. He says, you restore him with the spirit of meekness. Why are you are trying to restore him? You are considering yourself. Lest thou also be tempted. In the process of correcting somebody who have done wrong, the devil may want to tempt you and push you into wrongdoing so that you will be condemnable like that fellow even if not more condemnable. A wrongdoer is anybody who does whatever is not right. When we say how to properly correct a wrongdoer, we are talking about correcting whoever does what is not right. Therefore, scarcely is there anybody who has never played the role of a wrongdoer at one time or the other. Look at me, everybody. You have heard before. You have heard before. before. You have made mistake before. You have even done wrong before. If you cannot remember the time you did wrong, you have not really thought well. Maybe you are too forgetful. Nobody will think of his part. Pass. That you will not remember the time he did something that today he will not like to do if he wants to be a good person. Some wrongdoings affect just the wrongdoer himself. Some wrongdoings affect only the wrongdoer himself. Why others affect other people also? It was the wrongdoing of Eve and Adam that has been affecting and is still affecting the whole of humanity thousands of years after. This message 
is divided into three parts. Number one, the need to correct. Number two, what to know before correcting. And number three, how to properly correct. You know our time is short under our miracles. I will quickly rush through it. The need to correct. It is the duty of every man to correct whoever may err around him. Somebody close to you. Somebody who has to do with you. Somebody who is related to you. There is the need for you to correct him. If he is falling into error. In some cases, you may even endanger your own life by not correcting him. For example, you are traveling in a vehicle. The, dev, the, the driver, instead of branching right, is branching left. I don't want to disturb him. What happens to you? Will you get to your destination? Will you get to your wrong destination? So sometimes you have to correct to help yourself. Sometimes you have to correct to help the fellow. Sometimes you have to correct to help other people. The vehicle is coming. Somebody is about to cross. And you, you are close to where the the, the, the vehicle has reached. I tell the driver, well, somebody is crossing, somebody is crossing. You are correcting the driver so as to help those people that are crossing so that the vehicle will not crush them. The point I'm making is that the duty of correcting others is the duty of all men. At one time or the other, you have been corrected in the past. At one time or the other, you may need to correct others. James chapter 5, verse 19. Brethren, can you hear again? Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and won't comfort him, let him know that he which comforted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. Ara, se tungbo, ara, bi eni, eni ke eni ni nou nyi, ba si nan kuro ni nou tito, ti eni kon, si yi pada. Ye ki o mwen kwe, eni ti o ba yi ele se kon pada kuro ni nou isi nan re. Yo ba o kon kon la kuro lo wo iku, yo si bo o kon lo kwe se mwen le. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody is going into error. There are many things you can do about it. You may ignore it. And go your way. You may make jest of him. He's going on the way of error. Or you may correct it. Which one is good out of the three? Hey, down there, there. we to correct him. To correct him. When you see a blind man trying to go to the wrong way, as he uses a walking stick to find the way, and you do as if you are not seeing him, that is wickedness. If James chapter 4 verse 17 may be applicable to you, we say see that to do good and do it not to him, the business of correcting is a major business of parents. Uh, Proverbs chapter 19 verse 18. Chasing thy son why there is hope and let not thy soul spear for his crying. No more God, in his infinite wisdom, decided to make man in a different way from all other creations. Angels are made adults. Only human being, or rather, human being as the most 
helpless at his beginning except for Adam and Eve that were made adults all other human beings including yourself and myself were made small babies why? to subject him to his parents or whosoever has the responsibility of taking care of him. The parents will now teach him how to do factually all things. He is a person. He has his own personalities. Nevertheless, in most cases, it is the direction the parents lead him. He will go. God did it deliberately that he will not even be able to talk ha. as as bad as this is the child is hungry a three day old baby can he call mama I'm hungry he's hungry sometimes something is itching him at the back he tried to put his hand his hand cannot reach the back he doesn't know how to tell mama all he knows to do is to cry and even crying he can even be waving his hand mama will not know where the pain is sometimes inside the stomach sometimes in his head God knew how difficult this would be to a human being. But because of the greater benefit, the subjection of man to this condition will bring to man. God should see to bring man in such a condition. So that from his parents, he will learn how to talk, how to walk, eat, how to behave, how to do all other things. So that at the time it grows, it will become like experience. Some of you parents don't know that most of the things you condemn in your children, they actually learn from you. Most of the things you condemn in your children. They learn from you. The Bible says, you better correct your children when there is hope. You know the meaning? There are things you teach the child when he is small that you don't need to teach again when he grows. He will simply do it. There is a baby in our house now. Um... The light. The light. The light, okay. The light, okay. They bring her to mommy every day. And I've been watching that baby grow. And I've been learning a lot of lessons. You are just learning. I'm just learning. I'm just learning. Initially, they were teaching her. She gets to my room. She just stand and be looking at me. Then somebody say, Greek grandpa. He will come near. He said, kneel down. She will not kneel. And they, they help her. They kneel her. After some time, when she gets to my room, he said, great grandpa, she kneels. You know, they carry her back to her house. Learn some things there. Come back another day. One day, they said, Greek grandpa, she knelt with one leg. She must have learned this from somebody. She was kneeling with two legs before. The grandma was kneel with the second leg. She now kneeled with the second leg. Many times these days now, when she enters my room, she will kneel. She, grandpa, she kneels down by herself. I said, hmm, what children become is what their parents make them. Some of you, your children learn how to disobey you as you are disobeying your husband. They learn it. Then that we should do. They repay you. Some of you, your children learn to shout 
awon mo yin ko bi atin pariwo as we are shouting on them eh na se ma pariwo le won then after a while you see them shouting on others leyin gba die wa ri kon tin pariwo le e trainer what type of training are you giving the this may sound proud you say you always share you always give your example i always give my example look at me very well no i don't have a child that can remember the guy was shouting on him no 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 i can't remember i've told you i came I don't need to shout. I told you the other day that in those days when I'm cleaning that that was a particular one that was fond of it. Initially, immediately I give the cane. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Is it? Daddy, George, George, sorry, Allah, George, sorry, Allah. When they say George, sorry, Allah, please for God's sake. They say sorry, Allah. I will drop the cane. The Bible says, if you spare the king, you will spare this child. Ah. One day I learn my lesson. We are going to tell you, I say, Allah, I'm looking at you. 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 But I've never called any of my children, Uloshi. I've never told any Uriye Baje. Listen, I've never said unconscious. In case you don't know the meaning of unconscious, unconscious means you are mad. That's the meaning. Anything you don't want your children to be, don't ever. I can't remember ever calling any of my children Ole. And I do not say they never stole my thing. But, but I don't want them to become Ole. Thief. So I don't call them thief. I don't call them Barao. It's a major duty of parents to correct children. When do you correct your children? When there is hope. There are things I don't eat. And jokingly, I will say, uh, those who are supposed to train me to eat it, they did not train me. You are too small to train me. I'm not eating. You don't know that there are things children don't want to eat. That parents force children to eat. Meanwhile, all of you are parents. Which child want to eat Amala? Eh? Pepe. Which child? Which child does not eat Pepe? Won't he die? What do they want to eat? Tell me. Chocolate. Uh, Kituni, ice cream, you got. You got. Some don't even want to eat gold anymore. When they now grow, they begin to eat Indomie. Only Indomie. Somebody Only uh, Kituni. Eh? No deuce. Spaghetti. Say lie, lie. Spaghetti. Because spaghetti lay baluma je. A day is coming that I'll be using the side of this hand. Why? Chinese children use stick to eat. Stick. Chinese, if I wonder how I can do it. I walk on my by. Give him a by. He can't eat it. That's what his parents taught him to do. Now, if your children become bad children, the first person to blame is you. And in many cases, you are training them unknowingly. Because that thing you they are doing, they are seeing you doing, they are learning. And bad thing is easier to learn than good thing. Mm. Proverbs 23, 13. We took no correction from the child. 
For him now, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it with the rod. He shall not die. I will worry, Cat, a little boy, say, Cat, a lama say, far away, but we say, Kuro Lara or Mode, Nitoliko B, Waba, if you pass on, no, if you pass on, no, Onki Yoku. This is one of the major problem between the. How do I use it now? I know how to say democratic and republican. The social and the conservative. I know some of this terminology, but I would have preferred something better in America. In America. In America, you don't beat your child. In America, oh, God, oh, no more. Once you beat the child, oh, but no more. it calls police. And the police comes in. If you are not careful, you are losing that child. You are losing the child. They take the child away. Because they consider the child property of the government. Under your care. But here the Bible says, when you beat him, he will not die. And this is why their children are becoming weary. Most of their children. Thank God we are not in America. And those of you in America may God teach you how to go about the, that business. Because you are in a very difficult situation. The Bible says we need to beat them. Proverbs 22, 15 says, Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. America have just done their midterm election. Midterm election is as important as the main election. Because the 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 mid the the main election determines who rules the nation. The midterm election determines who rule the ruler of the nation. I repeat, the main election in America determines who rule the nation. The main election determines who rule the ruler of the nation. <laughs> and therefore, they fight for the two the same way. In Nigeria, we do our elections together. The same time we do the presidential election, we do the member of representative, we do that of the Senate. But America, they do the president and then come back to do the parliament. They have just done that of the parliament. And um, as bad as things are in America today, with all the complaints of Americans you read every day, uh, social democratic, or what do you call them, was able to retain the Senate. They were able to retain the Senate. One should know the Senate. Yaga Jesu. Give me And the Republicans were able to rest. House of Representative from from the Social Democrats. It's a very small margin. So the two houses in America today, Democrats will rule the Senate. Republicans will rule the House of Representatives. I try to read about it. Because the projection of many people, including myself, is that the way Biden government is going, and with the aggressiveness of Donald Trump, and his achievement when he was there, the midterm of election will fail for him. And he was so serious with the campaign. But... I read that what made social democratic to see half the kind of upper hand they have was one thing abortion. A lot of Americans want freedom to kill their babies. 
ara america lo fe ki ominira po mo and social democratic are supporting that with full force the party of donald trump republican you know they are mainly pentecostal christians most of them they are seriously against it then the people of america will not vote for them they will vote for them for other reasons but because they don't support abortion they won't vote for them without we told not correction from the child for if thou beat it in with the rod he shall not die foolishness i mean 2215 foolishness is bound in the heart of a child but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him correct thy son and he shall give the rest yea he shall give the light unto thy soul the social democratic people they want people to be allowed to live their life the way they want to live it we shouldn't be giving them too many do's and don'ts one of the reasons I think Joe Biden used to get those who fought for him was that as the midterm election was very close, Joe Biden signed into law permission for people to use marijuana. And everybody that has ever been convicted for having marijuana, possessing marijuana, convicted in the year past, Joe Biden forgave all of them. So they voted for him. That tells you a lot of people are interested. <laughs> and the business of marijuana. They are just passing to law. Before, if this, you don't even need to smoke. If it is seen in your hand, you are an offender. Now, if it's seen in your hand, you are not an offender. So, if you are going to America now, if you know how to pass our border here, and it's in your loop, when you land at the airport, they search your, say, what is this? They allow you to go. Your body has just passed it to law. To win this election, they have just. Correct, mm. 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 son, and he shall give the rest. Yea, he shall give the light unto thy soul. When their children oh, start you with India help. Meanwhile, doctors have condemned even ordinary tobacco cigarette long ago. They now said they could add in their head. When they grow from India hair, what's the next thing? Heroin, cocaine. Heroin at cocaine. If I buy heroin, is becoming outdated. All they do today is to ur urinate in a bottle and keep it somewhere. Ten days. It's as strong as those things. Heroin, marijuana, It all. for ten days. Some even go to latrine. Come back to she you live on say. Can you turn that in way? Be a bone on your body. Oh, turn that the latin on live on say. One for a simon. Do you want to go? So people want to live more because in case one man move in us. The Bible says when you correct your child, when there is hope, he will give you rest tomorrow. You say, Ah, America, I want my shade out now. Uh, America come on, sorry, you know, sorry. Can you take it? come on in law on the school class. Come on, but look what? Can you take it? Can you take it? Can you take it? Can you take it? Everything is shaking. Everything is shaking. A big lot of things is shaking. I'm going to take it. law school. Kaka koko away. O boyu. O wale. I want to come to the school. I'm going to go Obinu, ejo kolikulu kufiti e sheti e, omelo mi na ngboyu, unkonrewa la mo e shekulo ngboyu nisku, angwa dosore, 
ki soro e ton so yen lo ma je ko ri epe pe ibirin to ni yen ko ya ko se kini ko ya ko rin ti o fi ni rin mo that's why some children agboyun eleke ni a tu se kini a tu gbelekeji lowo mo buruku to pe loko a tu gbelekeji to ba pe won a ko omo merin won a ko ti e iya o ni se omo o lo nje oko orilegbe the time they supposed to take care of you you now start all over wa tun se bere ori e pe after some time you have stroke leyin gba die wa ni stroke after some time pastors will tell you aye lo nse e won o lu sagun tan kan ni aye lo nse aye to nse e la won omo eyan awon laye Correction is also a major duty of church leaders. I'm talking about the need for correction. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 24 and 25 and 26. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves. If God perfection will give them Repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Mm. Won o si le so ji kuro ninu idekun esu awon ti ati di ni igbekun lati owo re wa si ife re Did you hear that? Se gbo bayi. A pastor that is not meek. That is not gentle. Yo ni suru ti o nso ni wa tutu. Is not qualified to pastor you. Oye lati se adari e. A pastor that quarrels. Oluswago tan to ma nja. A lo ma parija fun won ati yawo eni gba gbogbo. Calls his wife a wish, then you join <laughs> pastor to call the pastor's <laughs> wife a wish. The pastor told us his story. I was among the people he told. He was not gossiping. He was reporting. And I was among the people he reported to. He said, This man, I opened a branch for him. And make him the pastor of the church. He later turned the church to his home. And I, okay. So I became his father in the Lord. He will bring things. So after a while, I had. He has separated from his wife. One day, he came to me. I was asking. I may, make, I may put fork in the I'm not the lion. Sorry, or all or all so. But this is the essence. He was marrying a girl. Initially, they didn't marry. He now saw his wife. He married. They were living together. They won't give back to children. After a while, one day, he traveled to wherever and saw that old girl, now a police officer, big woman using car. She too has lost her husband. So they met each other. They share place and trees. So cut a long story. They decided to marry each other. The wife in the house left he married the other. This is where I'm going. The funny part of it. The original wife is now living outside. The man is riding the car or the old but new police officer. He now rode the car to his father in the Lord. And his father in the Lord asked question. And I explained that. The church already know about it. And they are not against it. Not America. You say in America. This one is in Nigeria. Nigeria and Benin. Apart from us here, Papa. 
the two wives are still in the church. The husband is a Jew. The original wife is living outside. The husband is with the cow now. And he said the child knew they are not bothered. Mm. Mm. If you get to Ojota to enter a lorry, I'll be a car, a vehicle, a bus that will take you to Oshogbo. And in your presence, your driver buy marijuana and keep and take uh, two shots of Ogogo. <laughs> and sit behind the chair. And you, you bow your head. you <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the process of lolayo or bolayo? So you are not lolayo or bolayo. Don't share. So, but you are not going to be a driver. You are not going to be a driver. So, but you are not going to be a driver. 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 You are not going Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 1 says, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reproof, rebuke, assault without long suffering and doctrine. Any part who treats you as a customer cannot lead you to your destination. The Bible says you should be rebuked. You should be reproved. You should be corrected. What pastors do today is to teach, to treat their members as customers. There are many members don't even sweep. You cannot see them cleaning the benches. You say why? They are big men. They have employed those who sweep. Those who, clean, those who do everything. Can I tell you one secret? Mom? They don't even read the Bible. They don't pray. They only come to church. Pastor do praying for them. They read the Bible on their behalf. They sit down. So when they cough, they call pastor. When they sneeze, they call pastor. After all, they are paying for the service. Oh, you shall more long. Pastor, you are not a child of God. And your you are deceiving yourselves. Anybody who cannot rebuke you, who cannot reproof you, who cannot instruct you, is not qualified to be your pastor. Who cannot say, sister, no, 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 not there, not there, this way. It's not qualified to be your pastor. Any pastor that is always fearing you so that you not carry your big tight away is a religious merchant and I alien, robbing you of your ad and income in the name of God. Mm. Wrongdoing comes generally in two ways. Or trans and action. These are the two ways wrongdoings come. It is either saying or doing something that is not right. How a wrongdoer is rightly corrected is determined by two things. Number one, who the one to be corrected is to the one who is correcting him. 
senior or junior, parent or child, superior or subordinate. <laughs> Number two, the purpose of the correction. Is it to advise or to discipline? When you want to correct, you must put this in mind. God, uh, Paul told Timothy, rebuke not an elder. Rebuke not an elder. Uh -uh, not elder in the church. Oh. Not elder in charge of uh, in charge of uh, evangelism. In charge of that is not the elder. It's talking about elderly people. If you want to talk to elderly people, talk to them with respect. Talk to them with respect. You cannot talk to them as if they are your child. That's what is meant by rebuke not an elder. The same thing with elderly women. He says if you are rebuking younger women, do it with holiness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to go into that this morning. What to know before correcting? To do the work of correcting Others properly. The following are important. Bear it in mind that every man is liable to error and therefore may need to be corrected. You have done wrong in the past. You can still do wrong tomorrow. Don't forget that truth. That you are not the one who have done wrong now. Does not mean you are Mr. All in all. The only person who ever lived in the world without needing correction was our Lord Jesus Christ. No other man. Not Adam who had the forbidden fruit. Not Noah who got drunk after the flood. Not Abraham who went to Hagar. Not Sarah who instigated him to do it. Not Moses who smote the rock. Not Joshua who entered into covenant with Gibbonites without prayer. Not Samson. I like Solomon who allowed outlandish women. Not David who went to Bash. Not Peter who said Jesus shouldn't go to the cross. So they said that Jesus said, Get behind me, Satan. Not John and his brother who said they should call fire on the Samaritans. Not Paul who took to what the elder suggests. And Wahala followed. No man, no man, apart from Jesus, ever live in this world without needing correction. That one is in a position to correct another person is not necessarily a proof that he is older, he is greater, or he is better than that person he needs to correct. So when you are correcting, bear that in mind. Your position of the one to correct now does not necessarily make you to be better than that fellow. It is very easy for one to fall into more damnable error while trying to correct another person. Listen, everybody. Your child went to play ball when he's supposed to wash plate. When you want to correct, you curse the child. Ball player and cursor. Which one is more of an offender? You need to listen to me now. It's so easy for you to enter into greater error. Why trying to correct somebody that air? This is why the Bible says, whenever you are correcting, do it with the spirit of meekness. We've seen pastors that want to correct their members. I will be cursing them. If if God call me, if I a kilo de chango ukope. You've never seen me done that. Oh. Hey, to you? Oh. 
to anybody in the church, <inaudible> to the one who has gone away, <inaudible> or the one who went away and did evil to us. <inaudible> I've been laying you a good example. <inaudible> May you also be a good example. <inaudible> it is easy for you to go into error. <inaudible> Damnable error. Why trying to correct others? Galatians chapter 6 verse 1 says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fall, he which has spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, spirit of meekness, considering thyself, let thou also be tempted. That was uh, Galatians 6 1. Any correction that makes you to shout. That makes you to be angry. That makes you to talk abnormally. Has already made you a greater offender. First Corinthians 10 to say, Wherefore, let him that thinketh is stand there, take heed, lest he fall. A brother have just fallen into sin, terrible sin of fornication. We all know that's a terrible thing. But you are talking about it. How do you talk? The Bible says a multitude of words wanted no sin. You now think because what that brother have done is so bad that has given you license now to be the broadcasting station, broadcasting the error. Of the brother, eh? Have you ever done any brother like that? Eh? brother like that? Eh? Eh? You did go? Eh? You did go? You are the agbo de ba. Helping Satan to broadcast the evil that he has pushed a brother to. How do you correct properly? Second Timothy two twenty-four. And the servant of the Lord must not strive. Who is a servant of God in this house? Who is a servant of God in this house? If you are one of them, stand up and say, I am one of them. Okay. If you are a servant of God, shout, I am a servant of God. Go! Listen. The servant of God must not strive. You know what that means? Have you seen? When you strive, you are using your action to say you are no longer a servant of God. I don't strive by the grace of God because I am a servant of God. But be gentle unto how many men? You know I'm gentle to you. Have, have I ever been harsh to you? I'm gentle to my wife. I'm gentle to my children. I'm gentle to my pastors. I'm gentle to my neighbors. I'm not harsh to anybody. Because I'm a servant of God. When you are not gentle to some people, you are using your action to say you are not a servant of God. Apt to teach patience. If you are a servant of God, you are patient. They come to report to you. Black brother has done so, 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 so. What's the next thing? Eh? He has done so, so, so. You have not even found out from him. Black brother will say, bye, 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 bye. Look at me very well. Some of you are aware. There is nothing you say anybody does. I don't take any action until I am convinced, I am so sure he has done it. Immediately you have. Eh? You are condemning yourself before God. And that stubbornness you think you have. Oh, Lori Kunkun. Lori Kunkun. That's a quotable quote for you. Stubbornness will vanish from you. Pride will go. You become holy. Emergency holiness will follow you. On the day of accountability. You better put yourself in that condition now. Mm. In meekness, instructing those who oppose themselves, 
If God peradventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Any two le con yo ni suru any ti yo ma ko awan so de kwelu wa tutu. O yo lan un le fun wani ro nun kwi wa da si mo tito. I wish this is Sunday so that I can really preach this message. Let me rush the I don't want to come back to it next week. So many things are waiting for me to preach. The number one thing we need to make sure while trying to correct others is how we too will not fall into any error by correcting any person. Errors such as anger, lying, talkativeness, hypocrisy, injustice, hatred, and so on. It's so common for people to fall into such errors. It's correcting somebody who did wrong and is getting angry. Demons of hell will say, ah, this man is becoming a demon like us. Somebody have done wrong. You use wrong to correct him. And you expect the Almighty God to justify you. Make sure the correction is necessary, relevant, and useful. Some corrections are not necessary. Not relevant. Not even useful. Make sure you do not directly or indirectly exhibit pride. Through the way you correct a person. That you have to correct him does not make you to be bigger than him. Make sure you do not overdo the correction. You have said it, the fellow have heard. But you are coming again, you are coming again, you are coming again, you are coming again, you are, coming again. You are talking and talking and talking and talking and talking until you useless yourself. Make sure your correction does not become a problem to the one you are correcting. Some people after they are being corrected, they become dejected, they become sorrowful, so feel worthless. Do you know that some people have committed suicide? Because of the way they were corrected because they made they made them to feel totally useless and you have the example of jesus in the book of revelation chapters 2 and 3 where he corrected the seven churches in asia he always started by saying i know thy work i know thy patience i know thy labor i know how you do not cooperate with evildoers but i have somewhat against you any parent would like to talk about the well doing of his children before talking about their own doing will be a good parent. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 and ye fathers provoke not your children to rot but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Some children because of the way they are corrected they will not even come back home. Because of the way the father is always cursing them. So it's better I stay away. In your mind, always put yourself in the position of the person you are correcting. And make sure you do not correct him the way you wouldn't like yourself to be corrected. Don't ever use correction to make the one you are correcting feel that you are making or calling him a bad person. Don't make the person feel guilty, worthless, useless, unimportant, irrelevant because of the way you correct. Make sure you don't fall into any wrongdoing while trying to correct others. Galatians is one again. But then, if anyone, sorry, if, if any man is overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, let thou also be tempted. We galate or rike five sec in Arabia till a moony on the new isu book on. Can it is a tea me? Kill me, do any bear, but super near me what to two. Kill what a car, I remark, Kisara, Kia, my bad, don't want to know where you need to be more careful. 
It's when that wrongdoing is done to you. The Bible says if it is done to you, don't anybody who oh. no, made that fellow. If you will not listen, talk to wise people to talk to you two or three. If you will not listen to them, report to the church. The Bible doesn't say you tell the whole world. First Corinthians 6, 7. Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you. Because you go to law one with another. Why do you not rather take wrong? Why do you not rather suffer yourself to be defrauded? Did we hear that? I gave him 10,000. The work he did for me, it does not worth 8,000. Eh? Where did I get that? God will pay you. Can God pay? Come on. Can God pay? Artisans have been reported to me. The same person they report to me when I have that job, I still give to him. So, eh, no, do. If he shoots me, his father will pay. Stand up and let us pray. Help me, Lord God. I have no other help. Sing it. Help me, Lord God. In your alone I trust. Help me, Lord God. I have no other help. Help me, Lord God. Don't let me be so fashioned, oh, fashioned, fashioned. Allah me run, Allah give me shine, make my heart be a joy. Look at me. If two people make promises to one another, which one needs begging to fulfill his part? The good person or the bad person? Two people make promises to one another. Which one needs begging to fulfill his promise? A good person or a bad person? If God and man make promises to one another, which one needs begging? Eh? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you very sure? There are two types of churches. The churches that are trying to Force God or beg God or compel God to do good to people. And the churches that are forcing and begging men to do the will of God. Who need begging? Eh? That is why I always beg you. If you do well, it's automatic. Goodness is coming on you. Oh, Sing it now. Sing it. I've taken a long time preaching this song. And there's something in me that doesn't want to release you. But I'm going to release you this way. 
You want to come to the altar? Come to the altar. You want to kneel down there? Kneel down. You want to be saying the prayer as you are going to walk? Be saying it as you are going to walk. But make sure you do meaningful prayer on this matter. Don't just throw it away. You want to go? Be praying as you are going. You want to kneel down? Kneel down and pray. You want to come to the altar? Come to the altar. Let's sing the song for the last time. When you are true, drop your offering, drop your tithe, and grow in peace. I hand you over to the Lord.